Hello everyone and welcome to the horoscope reading for this powerful week ahead. And it's going to be a powerful week, a week of clarity, communication and magic. The best is yet to come and I really feel like an energy around the eyes where we're going to be removing anything around the eyes that may stop us from seeing things clearly. You know, that energy where we move into clarity and we focus on love and joy and peace and that's opening the door to miracles. And we've got a new moon coming in on Saturday and on Sunday we move into May. So very powerful week ahead. And I am feeling that, especially when I did the weekly reading. So you may want to check that out too. But this is going to be your star sign. And it can be for sun, moon, Venus or rising, whatever you're connecting with. Or maybe you want to connect with your twin flame star sign and see what message is coming in. So the messages will all be timestamped and the signs will be timestamped in the description box below. So we're going to use the Priestess of Light Oracle for this reading today. So thank you, angels. What's the energy coming in, please, around Aries? The energy, please, coming in around Aries. What do we need to know? Wow. <coughs> just stop. They just blocked my throat chakra really badly, Aries. <coughs> wow, look at this. We've got Rivet of Blessings now. As I connect you with your energy, and I'm, I'm getting it now, <coughs> what block in the throat chakra? A block in the throat chakra. So it's saying to you, releasing constraints. Now, everything happens in a reading for a reason. <coughs> and they're giving me this block throat chakra because you're releasing constraints around communication. So if you've been in separation for a long time from your twin flame, if you haven't talked for a while, if there's been some form of block in the throat, <coughs> it's been healed. It's just coming through. I have to experience it. You know, this is what they're giving me. Now, this can also mean if anyone's dealing with a throat illness, if you've had, if they're giving me someone who may have had throat cancer or something with the throat, it's been healed right now. There's a constraint being released around it. And there's a river of blessings flowing in for you. So I feel this is the doors of communication opening. And I am feeling that this week. <clears throat> and I'm picking up on this quite bad for you. Because I feel that any of you that have really been through a harsh time. A harsh period of separation. Or there's just been no communication for you know a long while. And it's been really grinding you down or getting to you. That constraint, whatever's been stopping it or blocking it, it's been released. And there's a river of blessing, a river of communication coming in. So it's very likely this week you're going to receive communication or there's going to be some indication of that moving ahead. Now, for everyone else, if that doesn't resonate with you, there's a river of blessings on the way. And anything that's been stopping those blessings from coming in, it's now removed. It's been released. There's so much power and love and joy coming into your life but the big one here is the communication has been restored and it felt so stuck like you know when you need to cough out like something very powerfully something that's been there for a while and it just needs one powerful cough one powerful shift to release it that's what's going on so the angels are saying to you, there's a river of blessings coming in. And we've got the number 47, which is the angels are protecting what you're manifesting. The angels have got you, whatever you're dreaming about, it's coming true. So there's so many blessings on their way to you as we move forward, especially as we move past this new moon into May. So great things on the way for you, Aries, trust and keep the faith. But let me know in the comment section if the throat issue or anything connected with you know communication is resonating with you because I really feel deeply these blessings are coming in I hope that helps wow Taurus welcome and remember Taurus I'm doing your daily readings right now as well so you get a daily message every day so thank you angels wow it jumped out the deck there we've got clairvoyance so you're being reminded of your power again as a light worker this has been a constant you know, last week you got Think Bigger, now you've got Clairvoyance. So your third eye is still continuing to open. You know, your psychic sight is getting so powerful right now. So you're having visions of what's to come in your waking life because you may be seeing previews of that. You may be having a flash of something in your eyes. 
a flash in your mind of something and Archangel Uriel is expanding your mind to this. So you're open and aware of what's going on. And I feel Mother Mary all around you this week too, helping you to see with the eyes of love, not fear. Especially if you're worried about what you're going to be seeing. You know, sometimes when we open up to our clair abilities, it can be a bit scary. You may think, am I going to see spirit? Am I going to see angels? What's going to happen? So Mother Mary is comforting you today. So you allow yourself to access and kind of, you know, embrace these powerful gifts. And I feel you also may be getting lots of signs in, in dreams, you know, messages in dreams because you're connecting with your clairvoyance and, you know, you are starting to see, you see the truth, you understand and you process things from a much higher point of view. So again, this is about thinking bigger. And the message says inspiration, interpretation and trust. So trust in what you feel, trust in your interpretation of what you are seeing. And what you are experiencing through your psychic power and your spiritual sight and what you're going through and what you're being inspired to do. So you're also being inspired and they're giving me a feeling like saliva in the mouth. So this is about having a taste of something. I feel there's a taste of success coming or a taste of what you want. So if you want a relationship, if you want union with your twin or you know, you want reconciliation, you're going to get a taste of it this week through what you see. So again, previews from heaven, you know, seeing things around you, flashes of inspiration or insight, something that pops in your mind or into a dream, or even, you know, these things coming into your world this week, but there's great things ahead for you. And you are being reminded of your power. And they're also showing me kind of those leaves there, connected with herbs, spices, you know, things that you may want to add into your tea or into your diet this week, natural, you know, elements of nature, like more fruit, vegetables, things like that, then enhance things. But I'm feeling it as herbs, spices, you know, things you put into um, a recipe or things you add into food to make it naturally nicer, better, tastier you know, healthier. These are the things you're experiencing. So big things coming in for you this week because you are practicing and embracing your clairvoyance. How amazing is that? I hope that helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Gemini, welcome. Let's see what this week has in store for you. Wow. So the message for you is look at this, twin flames, amazing twin flames. And you've got the tiger, now, the tiger could be connected with the Chinese zodiac here, but I'm sensing and feeling that this is the water tiger of 2022. So you're being given an extra message here that you and your twin flame are coming together during this year of 2022. And remember, this energy continues until February 2023. So you're being shown that this is a great time for you. <clears throat> They're giving me again a block here now. If you're <clears throat> dealing with, I've picked up on this in Aries energy. So if your twin flame is an Aries, or if you're an Aries and you're cross watching right now and your twin is a Gemini, even bigger message about communication being restored this week or something big is shifting in your connection this week. And the tiger has got your back. So you're being reminded this week to have confidence and to not give up. And he says, soul partner, eternal connection. So you're being reminded that your love is eternal and that you are eternal. And that even if there's no communication or there's a block there, things are moving ahead. And that you have this gorgeous bond and you share this light. <clears throat> and again, this communication. So there is this real theme here about communication being restored and I picked up on that in the, the weekly reading but not to this extent because this is a big clearing that's going on to bring you together so again regardless of what sign you are or what they are okay because again you could be cross watching here this is saying to you you are coming together with your twin right now in this moment things are moving ahead during this year of 2022 so I feel this message has come through to buoy your faith, especially if there's no communication or you're in separation or you feel 
something's coming but you haven't yet seen any evidence of it so trust this love there's magic happening and if you're tuned into this you're not a twin flame it's very likely you're gonna meet your twin flame or you already know this person who could possibly be your twin flame or you are interested in twin flames and you're learning about them or you know you want this beautiful connection and something magical is coming in. And I feel something has been released to move things forward. But this is a year of power for you. A week of power. Twins coming together in love. I hope this helps. Have a great week. And I'll see you soon. Wow. Cancer, welcome. And I'm a Cancerian. So let's see what we need to know. Thank you, angels. What's the energy, please, around Cancer this week? The energy around Cancer. I'm going to keep shuffling till they come out. Hey, don't know. I want one card. Thank you, angels. One card, please, for cancer. One card, please, for cancer. One card, thank you. So the energy around you this week is, look at this, the number 10, which is definitely about power. And you may be seeing 10, 10 on the clock this week, cancer. And it says sacred breath and sound, life force communication. Now, I've got angel bumps because... You know, I'm really feeling communication is being restored this week between twin flames. There may be some communication that's being restored with family, friends. You know, if there's been a miscommunication somewhere, it's been healed. And we communicate through telepathy and through feelings when we breathe and when we relax through meditation, going in nature, calming our minds. So, when you breathe, listen to the sound it makes. So I feel that you are receiving communication this week through sound, which can be something you hear in a reading or a song or something that's communicated in some way. Or when you use breath work to calm your mind, things just come into your mind and you hear them in that way. You know, when I kind of say, the angels say, I hear them speak to me within my mind. But it's not really recognising it the way that a person would speak. It's just known, you know, and this is the same kind of energy. So you just know, you know what your twin is feeling. You know what your twin is wanting to communicate. You know what's going on. You know your power. You are connecting with your guides and your angels. So breathe this week. Use breath work as a tool to calm your energy to receive messages and to feel more at peace and more in tune with who you are. And, you know, you've got this gorgeous dolphin spirit around you, connected with playfulness and unconditional love and spiritual power. So remember who you are. You are the life force of your life. You are life force. You are connected with source. And you are strong. You are universal. And you have the power to communicate with angels, your guides, your loved ones in heaven, and anyone that you want. So that's what you've been reminded this week, Cancer, that you are a communicator, that you have a voice, that you deserve to be heard and that you have a natural gift of speech and communication, whether you communicate with others through music or through, you know, singing voice or through your speech or just conversation, you have the power to heal with the words that you say. And that's what you're realising. And they're also giving me the third eye opening here. Big psychic awareness coming in. Opening up to your truth and knowing who you are. I hope that helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Well, Leo, welcome. Let's see what you need to know for this powerful week ahead. What do we need to know, please, angels, for Leo? The energy for Leo, there we go. So the energy around you this week, look at this. We've got idyllic times, the garden paradise. So you're going to have a great week, okay, it's going to feel idyllic, it's going to feel like paradise this week, because there's magic flowing in, and we've got the owl on the shoulder there, and the butterfly, so you could see owls this week connect you with wisdom, and power, and the understanding that when you go through the dark times, the dark night of the soul, the ups and the downs, the highs and the lows, it makes you so strong, and it gives you wisdom, it gives you power, and it expands your wings because you are a light worker. And the butterfly is about transformation and change and how you find your way. So you're finding your way this week. You're very blessed this week and you feel it. You feel ready for something. You can feel something's coming. 
and you're moving into better times, paradise, a feeling of heaven on earth. And we create that. You know, everything in our life is a neutral thing. It's how we perceive it that makes it good or bad, heaven or hell, light or dark. And that's the epiphany that you're going through this week. So I feel you're going to see owls for sure and butterflies as a big symbol of your power that you are transforming and so is your life and you're moving into better times, ideal times, things that will feel good to you. And it's great to spend time in the garden. So the weather may be great. The weather may be, you know, really sunny and nice. Or it could be raining and nasty. But go in the garden. Go outdoors. Go in nature. Move into the garden of your life. Which means move into happiness and joy. The garden is also what you create in your mind. You know, we all have a garden. And it's filled with beautiful flowers. But it can also be overrun by weeds and we have to pick out the weeds and the weeds are those negative thought patterns and those stressful fears and things that drag us down. Replace that with optimism and faith, which are the flowers that bloom and those trees that grow fruit on and power. And I feel some of you may be gardening this week or sorting out your garden, spending more time in the garden or outdoors or in public gardens. And that's helping you to feel good too, because when we're outdoors in nature, connecting with Mother Earth and the garden and, you know, beautiful things, we feel beautiful, we feel more peaceful and more in tune because God's garden, you know, outdoors in nature is where we feel the closest to him. And the garden is also connected with what we go through. You know, think about what Jesus went through in the Garden of Gethsemane. So he went through struggle but he always come out the other side. You know, he overcame his struggle with love. So you're being reminded this week to focus on love. I feel you may be spending more time with yourself, having these aha moments or these epiphanies or these understandings of your truth. But great things coming in for you. An ideal, idyllic week. So powerful. I hope that helps. Wow. Virgo, welcome. Let's see what we need to know for you for this week ahead. Thank you, angels. Wow. But one card, because that one's going back in. So the energy around you is sacred purpose. Wow. So Virgo, this week you may come into awareness of what your purpose is here. Your sacred purpose, your mission, what your life path is. And you're realizing more and more that you are an eternal flame, that you are a twin flame. And that's actually part of your sacred purpose. And that means you may be looking for the answer thinking, why am I here? What's my mission? Why have I come? But you're already on your mission now. You're already on purpose now because you're learning all the skills and all the tools you need for your true path to get through what you're going through, to help others to be a leader, to work your light and share that light with the world. So you're being reminded that you are an eternal being, you are a twin flame, you are strong and ancestral legacy. So you have ancestors helping you this week, guides, loved ones in heaven, because you are here to continue on that legacy. You know, you have a legacy here. That means you're building something together with your twin flame and separately that will remain when you are gone. So you have a mission to leave light and leave a light on and be a guide. So that could be you thinking about what you want to do what you want to do to be of service, to help the world, even when you're not here, when you're gone. We all will leave something behind. What's that going to be? So this is showing you that you are eternal and you may even be thinking about the future and what it means. Maybe you're struggling with that because you're thinking, how long have I got? You know, how long have I got to achieve what I want to achieve? You're being reminded you were here for the right amount of time. Only God knows that and God is in charge and he knows what your path is and your purpose and why you're here. And he's saying to you today, you are working this now. Take every step as it comes, every moment as it comes, every day as it comes. Don't force or rush anything. Just allow things to be and breathe. And remember, Virgo, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be. I hope this helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Well. Libra, welcome. Wow, straight out the deck for you. 
grateful optimism and they're giving me the word graceful be very graceful this week and grateful with your optimism so when you have a joyous point of view or you have a joyous view of the future everything works out and i feel that gratitude is going to move things forward to, for you it's to you and for you it's going to bring in great changes new beginnings fresh starts and something is happening within you so i feel you're going through a great transformation right now a rebirth you feel something's coming you may feel it in the solar plexus you may feel it in the tummy something has been reborn this is a very fertile time for you to create your dreams and to make things happen and to focus on love so be very grateful this week and that will lead you to an optimistic point of view it will help you to view the future the way you want it to be and it will manifest it for you that way so it will bring magic into your life and when you see a joyous view of the future that's what you create so this week gratitude is going to be the attitude that's going to bring more in it's going to magically manifest, it's going to create dreams and it's going to lead to blessings. So focus on what you feel, which is always real and let your heart and soul guide the way. I hope this helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Wow. Scorpio, welcome. Let's see what the energy is around you for this powerful week. That message for Scorpio. Thank you, angels. We've got soul radiance. Look at this phoenix rising. You are rising like the phoenix from the flames. You're being transformed. You're being reborn in light and love. You are shining now. Your soul is shining. Your light is radiant. The more you smile and feel joyful, the bigger your light shines. And that light is going to attract the good stuff in. It's going to attract in dreams you're manifesting. It's going to bring in things you're intending. And it's going to draw your twin flame home it's going to guide him home so shine bright this week be you you are a leader an example of love light and peace and that's what you're sharing with the world this week and you are rising up so anything you've previously gone through any pain struggle doubt fear you are coming out the other side of that now and rising up and the angels are asking you to have faith in the changes that are taking place especially if you've been experiencing ascension symptoms or anything in the physical self that may have caused fear rise above it so i definitely feel you're overcoming that now you know the angels are with you i feel archangel gabriel with you archangel honiel with you and archangel raphael with you so a lot of healing energy lifting you up and keeping you strong and keeping you at peace so shine your light this week just be you and everything else will come to you I hope that helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Wow. Sagittarius, welcome. What's the energy, please, angels, around Sagittarius this week? Wow, that's the card there. I'm just doing one card this week. So the metal, oh, two cards. Okay. I have to break my own rules because the angels are in charge. So we've got shamanic journey. Wow. So we've got this gorgeous energy of the full moon. So it feels like around the full moon you went through a bit of a healing energy a healing time and you realized a few things you realized what your purpose is and you became very in tuned with that and you had a vision of your quest so you're finding your way you're receiving answers you're becoming very reassured about where you're moving towards and what you're here for especially because we've got the number 23 so it feels like between now and 2023 you're becoming very aware of what your purpose is. And this really resonates with Virgo energy. So if you're connecting with a Virgo energy, really makes sense for the two of you to come together. Or you may have Virgo energy within your own chart, but this is showing you that, you know, between now and 2023, you're becoming aware, you're having a vision. You know, your clairvoyant abilities are getting stronger. You know what to do. You know why you've come. And we're always working our mission anyway because we're learning and growing and understanding and getting stronger. And we've got Harvey's gathering of blessings and we've got the number 44. So if you've been seeing the number 44 or 444 or you see that this week, the angels are reminding you that all of your blessings are being gathered now to come to you. And you may be 
focusing on your blessings this week, being grateful, but you're gathering everything together, you're gathering knowledge and wisdom and power, and you are a gatherer of blessings, so you also give out love, and you are of service, and you help the world, so you have such a powerful mission here, and there's great things ahead, so a big message here about understanding what your mission is, and your purpose is to move forward fearlessly into this new energy as we move into 2023, but for this week, you are realizing that what you plant now, you harvest later, and you are now gathering all of your blessings and magics coming in, and this is going to be a week where we may receive a blessing, we may receive a dream we've been manifesting, we may receive communication, or some hope that all is well, and this is absolutely what's coming in for you, so an absolutely fabulous week for you, because you're becoming attuned with who you truly are, I hope that helps, have a great week, and I'll see you soon, Capricorn, welcome, what's the message please angels this week for Capricorn, what do we need to know, so the energy is healing the heart, wow, it says power of self-love, and they give me the words practice, so practice self-love this week, self-love is going to open all the doors for you, it's going to heal your heart, their heart, and it's going to bring your hearts together as one, and there's this reconnection energy coming in around you, a rebuilding, a rebirth, reconciliation, reunion, magic, things being restored in your life this week, because your heart has been healed, so work on self-love, give back to yourself, nourish you, and everything else will come in, and be very good to yourself this week, forgive yourself, let go of the past, and be in the now, and don't worry about the future, let that take care of itself, just love life, live life, be grateful for life, and the magic will take place in your life, and the big message here is self-love, is healing not just your life, but the life of your twin flame, and the divine connection you share, so you can move forward into union together within divine time, I hope that helps, have a great week, and I'll see you soon, Aquarius, welcome, what's the energy please angels today around Aquarius, what's coming in for the week, got two cards for you, we've got three cards, another card moving, I have to do what I'm told, courage, says strength, fierceness, and family, so you're being given all the courage you need to deal with anything you're going through. And I feel that you are very fierce about the people you love in your life. And you stand up for what you believe in. You defend them. You know what you want. And, you know, you are like this lion or a lioness protecting a cubs. And the angels are with you every step of the way. So you're being given the courage this week to face any fears, to deal with any family situations and to move ahead and to stand strong knowing your power and your worth, and you may be dealing with a Leo energy, or you may have Leo in your own chart, but this is you harnessing the power of that lion to face things and move forward, and also to heal, because you are a healer, it says the power to give and receive healing, so you are gaining the courage to heal, to help, to be of service, to share and shine your light with the world, and you have healing hands, you know, you have healing within your hands, so you have, you can heal with hands, hands on healing, you know, you can use Reiki to heal, you know, angel therapy, but when you touch someone, it's very healing, and you may find that people just want to touch your arm, or touch your hand, or there's this real energy of healing coming in around you this week, and it feels like you're gathering the courage, the courage to be your true self, and they give me the word as well, culinary, because you may also love cooking, or, you know, messing with things, or, you know, creating things in the garden, you've got a very creative energy with your hands, and you create, and you could be an artist, a painter, you know, you could be writing things, you have power with your hands, and that's where the healing comes in, and it's about gathering the courage to share this with the world, so, you know, if you want to write a book, write that book, you want to paint that drawing, paint that drawing, paint that canvas, the canvas is blank, if you want to make things happen, create something in the kitchen, do it, do what you're being guided to do, because you are a healer, and you have the power within you to give and receive healing through what you do, 
and we've also got bright heart light it says open connections so this is going to be a week where you open your heart and when you open your heart you give you receive back and this is a week of communication so a lot of green energy in this deck here and in this particular message because that's the heart healing the heart activating to open you up to your truth and to bring what you want in. And I feel you and your twin could possibly communicate this week. Definitely communicating on the 5D realm about the mission you have together and the future. And a lot of healing energy being passed between the two of you as well. Which is also giving you strength and courage. But the door and the connection is open. So this is showing you things are happening. And in the past, you know, if they've been open with the connection, in other words, if they've dated others or, you know, been with other people, that's been healed. Because if it was an open connection, it's becoming a closed connection to just you two. Just you two, you know, as a couple in union together in a committed, loving, powerful relationship. But the message that's coming through here is shine your heart light brightly. There's a song by Neil Diamond, turn on your heart light, let it shine wherever you go. So wherever you go this week, shine your light, be of service, help others, heal with your hands, send healing energy to others, even if they haven't asked for it, but you can see the struggling, send it out to your heart and your hands and know your power. So I feel you're overcoming previous challenges this week by finding the courage within you to be you and to help and heal and show the world who you really are and that's your power and that's going to bring in everything you want including your twin i hope that helps have a great week and i'll see you soon pisces welcome what's the energy coming in around you this week then wisdom wow look at this we've got swans learning joy art and music so this is about unconditional love the swan is connected with the divine feminine power divine feminine grace and also the unconditional love of the twins that you make for life you know it's real you are eternal and i feel you are learning this week to connect with your twin flame through creative talents and outlets such as music art and joy the way you feel the way you feel is always real the way you connect with each other the songs you hear that lift your vibration and help you to feel that beautiful love the way that art makes you feel if you see a picture or a picture on social media or something that moves you. So you're going to be moved this week by the power of this love in a very creative way, a very cosmic way, a very 5D spiritual way. And you're realising more and more that this journey is so much more than a physical connection. Even though that's coming in, I feel you're learning about you and the connection and what this is. And I feel your twin flame is also learning about the connection right now, trying to understand what it is, what it means and what to do about it and how to make this move towards you, towards a real life and a real connection and a permanent relationship. So the big message is pay attention this week to the wisdom you receive through the things you learn the way you feel when you're in the energy of joy and the way you connect with art and music. And the 29 is about the partnership with the universe to work towards and grow on your spiritual path. So a great week for you of understanding, power, grace, compassion, you know, having that beautiful attitude where you go with the flow and the swan is going to show that to you. So you may see pairs of swans, you may see banjos, big sign of music, or something that comes to you as a great sign that shows you you're exactly where you're meant to be on the right path, doing what you're meant to be doing right now for your soul growth. I hope this helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon.